The day I circumcised, they said I should open my leg, and I did what they said. My mother told me this is my passage to womanhood. He said, if you refuse to lie down, we will force you to lie down. So my dad brings some rope and tight me and hold me very strong. I could feel the blade cutting. With every cut, I was struggling. When I was shouting because the pain was too much. I really thought I was going to die. They say it's tradition. Which type of tradition? Data from more than 70 countries shows that local feminist activists and organizations are the most important and consistent force addressing violence against women. Yet, less than 2% of donor funding goes to frontline women's organisations. What we do with the Global Media Campaign is reverse that. Our funds go to the grassroots. That's what makes us different. We really need to focus on funding grassroots activists and organisations because they are the people with first-hand experience. They are the people who are passionate. Je connais des dizaines, des centaines d'ailleurs de personnes, de féministes et d'activistes. Si nous avons le financement direct, nous pouvons faire beaucoup de choses. We remove the bondo bushi. We call them bondo bushi. And we construct schools. The whole world is talking about the importance of educating girls. But if we still have a lot of bushes where girls are initiated, do you think we will achieve education for girls? No. Wow. As from today, we have announced the Bundo business. $500 helps to take a religious scholar, a medical practitioner, to speak to millions of people in one radio talk show. The Bible no mention about Bundo business inside the Bible. God say you know for coaching money. After three years of local feminist campaigns in Tana River, Kenya, our survey showed that support for the worst type of FGM fell by 84%. In Mali, after six months of intense campaigns by local women-led organizations, 8% surveyed said they would no longer cut their daughter. Intermediary organization, they take bigger salaries. And then they don't do anything. They don't go to the field. It's the local people, the local organization that do all the work. They do all the reporting and they send this to them. And they take the credit because the money are passed to them, even though the work is being done by the local people. Wallace Global Fund has been working on FGM for 40 years now. And we now know what is needed. We need to drive resources at scale to frontline activists and organizations. They know what needs to be done and they have far too little funding now and it is time to go big or go home and get them the resources they need. We have launched the phase four of the joint program on the elimination of female genital mutilation. And one of our key focus areas are engaging women at the front line, women-led organization. It's essential. The women are there. They are ready. And I'm saying that because I've been in this line of work for over now 23 years. The future is female, and we are there to support them financially to make it to the finish line by 2030. <laughs> All funding is via direct cash transfers, which we call direct action grants. Direct action grants are completely organized on WhatsApp. From calling for proposals to announcing the selected projects, sending the receipts, everything is produced on there. This allows for the campaigns to remain fully transparent, completely fluid, interactive and dynamic at all times. La confiance que GMC a placée aux gens, c'est inédit. Ils sont motivés, ils ont confiance, donc chapeau. But the biggest obstacle to ending gender-based violence is that these organizations have been largely ignored by donors who insist they don't have the mechanism to find and fund them at scale. Yet feminist activists continue. 
But as part of a radical new strategy by UNFPA, Wallace Global Fund and GMC, we've developed a feminist frontline directory. This means that for the first time, donors will have a new mechanism to find and directly fund local organisations. This map will not only be interactive, but it will show what works to end FGM and other forms of gender-based violence in individual communities. What's more, the map is interactively linked with a specially designed app that helps frontline feminist organisations find and support each other. Let's shift the power. Let's bring it down to the local organisation so they can impact their own community. They are the victims. They are the people that can be able to make the change that the world wants to see. We have eight years to deliver the promise. So I would like them to know that we are there to support them. We are there to walk the journey with them and we are committed to make it happen through our new financial system. Yes.